We didn't pick any chords yet, so we're going to pick a basic chord progression. We're going to click on the chord uh, at bar 1, and, you know, say we'll leave it at C. We're going to click on the next chord, say we're going to pick D minor, and you could hear the preview as you click it. And we're going to pick A minor, and right here we're going to pick, I don't know, G, I guess. So right here, you know, everything defaults to Roman numerals until you actually pick a root. So, you know, we got this basic chord progression, but we need phrases to fill it so we could actually so it actually sounds like something. So let's pick the generic generator and we're just going to drag it in and we're going to line it up. And what's cool about Rapid Composer is as you move it up and down, it just creates inversions intelligently for you, which is awesome. So, you know, we got C, and we're going to drag another generator in right here at bar 2, count 1. We're just going to invert it a little bit and play around. Drag another one. Here's A minor, and we're going to drag a last one, and we got G. So, you know, we're going to play it and hear how it sounds. It's going to be using the piano sound font, which comes with uh, Rapid Composer. Now, you know, that doesn't sound great, you know, it's just kind of, you know, a basic thing. It's obviously MIDI, but it doesn't matter. So say I didn't like the inversions, I might play around with them a little bit. And that sounds alright, but maybe, maybe I want to tweak these generic generators. If you right-click them, this menu will pop up, and it's crazy so like all of these different things are the ways that you can you know like generate like a, a, a MIDI basically a MIDI phrase probabilistic rhythm you could I don't know just play around with this you could have notes repeat or not as much more polyphony less monophonic notes you know more or less um, and can regenerate and then apply to selection and it'll change you know the the way that that uh, phrase over the C bar you know sounds and we'll regenerate this and we'll apply to selection and we'll hear it, hear this I like that you know let's stick with that then D you know the, on the D minor bar we selected we're we're still we still have this open so we'll just play around we'll regenerate we'll apply play from the beginning yeah I don't know if that phrase worked but you know we'll play around let's see I like that see how like easy it is to make interesting MIDI phrases and you could export these MIDI's and use your own you know DAW which a lot of people will do and you know you could have the the grand piano the sampled grand piano that you love it's just easy so even if you don't play piano or piano well you know you got this cool idea kicking around you know so say I, I love these phrases that were generated on C and D minor and I want to change the A minor phrase so we'll play it from the A minor chord that's alright regenerate another one see how this sounds that's decent how about this one that's kinda cool a little bit weird but I kinda like it and you know we'll select G and we'll do the same thing we'll just play around regenerate see how it sounds so we'll do the A minor and G together alright that's cool I like that progression All right. So now, here's a real easy uh, thing right here. See down here? This is your keyboard shortcuts. I love this. It says there's some keyboard shortcuts, which I think you can customize, but I'm not entirely sure just yet. But you can add a track, and then you can fill track with chords. Now, I don't want to fill track with chords, what I, but I wanted, what I do want to do is add a track, and I want to change this to the bass sound. So right here, 
and we're going to drag some base generators in to basically match all the chords and harmony of track one. All right, there we go. So I got this cool idea kicking around. So I'm just dragging in the finger picking generator and I'm changing the generic generators into finger picking generators so it's going to completely change the sound but keep the same chords. Pretty cool. The generic generator over each of these finger picking generators and it goes back to the basic kind of piano style playing. Pretty cool. Regenerating, apply. This one, regenerate, apply. I like that. It's pretty cool. You know, it's just, this is how easy Rapid Composer is to use. It's just, everything's based on phrases, and you pick your the chords that you like, you pick a chord progression you like. And, you know, you could add bass generators, you could do whatever you want, add as many tracks, I forget the maximum or whatever, but I usually use it in this this fashion. I'll usually just kind of, if I'm too lazy to pick up my guitar or, you know, sit at my piano, I'll just kind of pick chords that I think might sound good and, you know, drag generic generators in there and see what I get. And, you know, if I want to change these chords, the phrases intelligently change with it. So, say if I want to change the chord progression from E minor, instead of C, D minor, A minor, G, let's do something simple. We'll do E minor, C, F, and then G, I guess. So all the phrases are going to totally intelligently transpose to match my new chord sequence. And so, and so do the bass generators. Obviously, as you can see right here, that's on E. You know, this is down to C. You see what I'm saying? It just it just moves everything intelligently. It's why it's called Rapid Composer. So uh, let's listen to new progression with the ger generic generator, uh, generic phrase generators. Yeah, it's all right. So let's see. Um, all these are really cool too. Like, see how he provides under the generic section he's got all these different sample generators these are really good not just the random um, rhythms that the generic generator generates these are useful patterns so we'll take a listen to these instead of what the thing randomly generated these are these are really good phrases see what I'm saying so those are useful and you know, here's sample four, another one of my favorites. Here's sample six. Very simple arpeggio, but it, it intelligently knows what to do. So you can drag this up and down and it'll invert everything. And just stay in key. Which I think is really useful. So all those phrases are useful, and the finger-picking ones down here, the custom ones that he made, are really, really great as well. So let's try this one. Yeah, just a basic arpeggio up and down. Here's finger-picking pattern two. So that's finger-picking two. Here's finger-picking four. You know, it doesn't always have to be a piano sound if you don't want, um, but I'm just using the built-in sound fonts just to get you guys started. So you notice whatever I pick, it's intelligently, you know, transposing it to over, over any chord. You know, right there is E minor. If I want to change this to F or F minor, it's going gonna, it's gonna to match the notes. Now, obviously, this red indicator lets us know that that's out of key. So we could do, I don't know, let's see. E minor 7. 
And notice as I pick the chord, it plays that pad preview. You can turn that off, but it's useful. So there's your E minor 7. Here's inverted. You know? So, you know, the pattern pretty much uh, intelligently, whatever chord you pick, the pattern is going to follow that chord. That's C sus 2, without a doubt. Here's F sus 2, I guess. So we'll listen to, so we turn this simple pattern of, of E minor and uh, whatever the next one was, I think it was C. We just change the chords to C sus 2 and F sus 2. Do you know what I mean? So we're using finger picking eight, you know, a built in phrase or custom phrase, and then we're using sample three, you know, another custom phrase. We could change them. We could make these both sample three if we wanted to. And, you know, again, whatever you change the chord to, it's going to match. That's just the basics of Rapid Composer, you know, just dragging phrases in, changing your chords, picking what kind of phrase you want. If you want to customize it, you can just, you could use all these different rhythm types. You could use triplet rhythms. You know what I mean? Now that's a gross chord. Let's let's simplify it and make it F. You know what I mean? You could do that. You could regenerate this. Again, it's going to uh, keep the triplet rhythm. Really neat, you know? You just pick your rhythm. You know, you, you drag your generator in, and you pick your rhythm that you want. You could pick polyrhythm stuff if you want. Let's see what CSUS2 sounds like with a polyrhythm generator. Yeah, that's it's a little bit kind of syncopated. You know, and this one's still on the triplet. So we can make this, I don't know, let's see, subdivision. Regenerate, apply, Yep, you see what I mean? It is it it's called Rapid Composer for a reason. So we're just we're just scratching the surface here with this video and you know I am gonna make some more in the coming weeks. And uh but I, I love this program. I think it's great to just come up, come up with cool MIDI piano patterns, mess around with chords, see what sounds good, you know. If you want to play them with your hands without computer assistance, you could. Um, if you wanted to take those chords and finger pick them on acoustic guitar, if you if guitar is your thing, you could do that. So it's a great way to generate quick ideas fast. You know. So I'm gonna make some more videos showing some other functions of the program, but this hopefully gets you guys started with what you can do with phrases, changing chords, customizing the phrases by right-clicking them and picking, you know, the rhythm that you like. And, you know, creating bass generators just to hear all the bass sounds with it. You could also create, you know, like slash chords. So if we wanted C sus2 with like, I don't know, a G in the bass, we could. You know, like it's completely customizable. So Hang tight, and I'm going to upload some more videos soon. But hopefully you guys can get a general idea of how powerful this software really is. It is insanely fun to use. And, yeah, sometimes it's it, it, you know, it, it gets a little buggy. Like, sometimes you'll experience crashes. But this is a very small company. It's basically a guy and his family. And it, he has done such an incredible mathematical and algorithmic, you know, software like that can just generate ideas so fast and you don't have to know a lot of music theory I mean if you know just the basics you could come up with some really interesting things and I think it's great so uh, hang tight for the other videos and thank you for watching